This is smoker build part one. Um, got some of the two inch square tubing taken care of for the frame. Um, that area is going to be the main smoking area, smoke chamber or fire box underneath of it. And this little leg that's on the floor down here is actually going to be a table for when we put wheels in a hitch and make this uh, trailer easier to move around the house. Um, this is the frame build. There is some of the other material. The insulation is on its way. I've got some two inch rigid insulation coming. I'm just kind of hoping that by me shooting some of this stuff and trying to keep progress updates going, I'll keep motivated. Um, I got a couple projects going on right now. I've got this, I've got a 69C10 been working on. Um, thinking about getting maybe a 3D printer, playing around with it, hopefully uploading all that here. Um, just wanted to get this going, show a little bit of the progress. I've got everything tacked, I'm going through and burning in the welds right now. It is gonna be a double wall insulated smoker based off of uh, 70 Kirkster's design. He's got three or four different playlists of smokers that he built, he put up. Um, basically his design of the wide cabinet, I think it's the third smoker he built. Um, just kind of took the bottom off of it, going to put it on wheels for a trailer. Um, reverse flow, smoke will come up both sides, down over the meat, and the exhaust will be at the back bottom portion of the smoke chamber right above that vertical piece I have in the center um, I'll try to get the CAD program that I or the CAD model that I made of the smoker for my cut list I'll try to get a picture of it next time and that way I can show you guys a little more detail of what's going on been playing around with the TIG on a couple of these joints our MIG that we have is just a small welder. It's not burning in as hot as it should for this 11 gauge. It's made for sheet metal. All the square tubing is 11 gauge. The sheeting inner and outer is going to be 11 gauge with the 2 inch rigid insulation inside of it. And we're going to have quarter inch plate for the firebox. Um, doors top and bottom, water pan ball valve with the drain out the back for the water pan. The water pan will also double as a grease trap so we can kind of keep anything from growing in there. Um, the welds I am sure are not pretty. I am not a welder. This is just a project of mine. I've got an old 55 gallon drum smoker out in the yard that will not keep its temperature if it is below 80 degrees outside. It just does not like cooking year round hopefully with this insulation double wall bigger smoker it'll have about four racks that are 20 inches by 30 inches so we should be have some more real estate probably three or four times what i had in the 55 gallon drum smoker so well this is the first update like i said i'll have more videos Maybe some other projects along the way. Just try to keep you guys updated. A little bit more details of what I run into as this gets moving along. But um, 70 Kirkster did a real good job of documenting his builds inside and out. Everything he went through. Probably not going to give in as much detail. Just using this as motivation for me to keep working. I have a real bad habit of not doing a whole lot if I don't feel like it. So... Um, thanks for watching.